Hey everybody, Baron Dome here. With June 1st fast approaching us, there's been talk that there's going to be something happening on the server, whether it's Russia coming back, the server's going to die, or some other type of apocalypse. So uh, Team Coca-Cola thought it was in our best interest to create our own apocalypse bunker that we've named Shelter 404. And with two days before June 1st, most of the builds are done. And I figured it was time to show you around the area. And when June 1st happens, we're actually going to abandon the base. It was just supposed to be temporary. Uh, so maybe somebody will find it one day and, you know, they can destroy it or live here. And, you know, it's kind of their choice. So let's take a tour around the area. All right, so let's get going. As you can see, there's a bunch of different types of builds, all by different people. The first one we're going to start off with is this windmill by Crystal Link. And we're going to head up to the top so we can take a better look around. As you can see, there's a like a pumpkin area, an angel over there, floating island, lots of different things, and a lot of things past the render distance. So we've got a lot to see. It's really nice. Like every time I would come here, there'd be a new build. So it's it's you pretty much take a new tour every time you would come in. Uh, none of the natural foliage was here when we got here, so we've planted all the grass, we've done all the trees. And we've also got a wheat farm right over here. And then I put in some uh, pig spawners. So we've got a bunch of pigs all coming right here so we can get free food. Uh, but first thing, let's go check out the member board. That way I can show you everybody that's been here that's been working on the projects. So we have Crystal Link, Nifty Robo, Cola3211, uh, myself, uh, the Cook Cola, Demon Q, Kane's Law, Happiness Bot, XCRC, Flying Q, X Videos Man, Mining Minecraft, and then uh, two alts from the other players. Uh, when we first got here, the first thing that was here actually was this giant hole. I think it's like a whole chunk that was completely dug out. Uh, but let me show you some of the stuff that we've added since then. Ooh, we've got a golem over here. Just kind of hanging out. So uh, this is X-Video Man's place. Nice little area, just made out of quartz. It's got a little swimming pool. Uh, maybe it looks like he was digging out his basement. All right, let's head back down. Oh, we've got another house right here. Okay, this is Happiness Bot's place. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, I like that banner. That's a really cool banner design. I like that. Enjoy his banner. That's nice. Nice little build. And we've got more trees right here. Uh, next thing is this giant ice tower by Nifty Robo. I was going to build something with ice, but he did a lot better job than I would have done anything with. So I let him have all the glory on that one. All right, we're going to head over to this Prismarine Eagle. We built this. This was XCRC. Nice. I even like the stairs that go up to it. And right over here looks like some type of a uh, like water tower or something. I like how the water is just kind of streaming out of the arms of it. I like the the color scheme too. It's the dark oak with the stone bricks. Looks like there were some extra pieces of wood up there. I'm not sure if they're still working on it or not. But it looks pretty done to me. Alright, let's head back over here. Got a couple statues to take a look at on this plot. There's this giant dirt pile with this weird structure. Right, let's go check out the sign. Uh, it's by Crystal Link. I don't know what the hell this is or how to name it. I Yeah, I'd have to agree with you on that one, buddy. That's a kind of a weird build. Just kind of just threw a bunch of things. But hey, I think it kind of worked out. Uh, this is another one that Crystal Link was working on. Uh, unfortunately, he ran out of obsidian. Oh well, maybe next time. And this sand one back here. This is a new one. I hadn't seen this one before. So let's go check this one out. Here we've got a sign that says who built it. No. No, no sign. No. Okay. 
Well, that's the kind of sucks. I was going to give props to somebody, but oh well. Alright, let's go check out this other Prismarine build. Alright, who built this one? This is uh, Crystal Link again. Let's head up to the top. Maybe there's something about the top. Nope, just open area, but at least we get to see a bunch of the builds from here. You can see the two floating islands and a couple other things. Now let's hop down. And go, that way we can go check out the other builds that are down to the other side. So next we're going to go check out my crappy build. little fountain I made with uh, some obsidian and some uh, stone slabs. Nothing special. Just wanted to kind of add something to the area. I didn't have much time to build here. I was actually off doing some other stuff for the longest time, so I at least wanted to do something for the group. Alright, let's go check out this. Uh, this is a little tribute to the Valley of Wheat by Coalette. Nice little archway, too. And then inside the angel, we got the Heart of the Beast. Ah, <laughs> nice. I like how there's the grass in here with the, the single tree, with the sea lanterns and the half slabs. Kind of quaint. I like it. So yeah, this angel is built by Colette. I like how it has one quartz wing and one netherrack wing. So let's check out this floating island right here. This is actually new. I haven't seen this one before. I like that. It's got a fountain on top of like a floating island. Oh, cool. Uh, the Fountain of Youth by Colette. Nice. Yeah, this just must have been added within the day. Alright, so let's head this way. We've got a little pond right here too with some uh, sugar cane. This is the Coca-Cola Hot Springs. We even got a diving board right there. Nice. And then right here is uh, one of my little things too. It's a coarse fruit plant farm. It's all manual, it's not automatic, so it makes it easier for getting all the coarse fruit off. And this is a building that Nifty Robo built. Uh, not really decorated on the inside, uh, but below is where we've got the, uh, the entrance to the bunk area. And most of the bunker is all just uh, some tunnels. There's no really built rooms. So I'm just going to take you right to the, the main area of the bunker. I mean, there's a pumpkin farm, uh, but that's the main thing that's down here. So you can see it's just a bunch of stone bricks with uh, redstone lamps. Oh, someone started building in here. Uh, but I like this. It's got like a vault door that's been opened uh, with the prismarine bricks. And actually opens into the area uh, where that whole chunk was dug out. So we put in some more grass and some uh, pig spawners down here. The Iron Golem. And uh, that tunnel leads up to uh, Crystal Link's windmill. Uh, but we're just going to climb out to the front. So yeah, just basically just says that we found the hole uh, and everything else we've added ourselves since then. Okay, let's go up to the Upside Down Pyramid. Uh, the glitchiness of this server man it's sometimes it's pretty bad all right who's this build oh, another one by crystal link okay so let's head up there all right what does this say okay and, and colette built the top of the pyramid so this is where we have the beacon it's used the uh, emeralds and gold blocks it's actually a nice Nice color contrast, I like that. So I hope you enjoy this tour of Shelter 404 by Team Coca-Cola. Uh, we're gonna stay out here till about June the 1st, and then after that we're gonna abandon the base. So maybe somebody will find it and they can, you know, do whatever they wanna do with the base, you know, stay, destroy it. You know, whatever they want to do. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. 
And if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.